Hey friends, today I'm going to do something fun. Well, I really shouldn't say today because it is, I don't know, I think it's after 10 o'clock at night at this moment, but I'm going to set a two hour timer and I'm going to see how much cleaning I can get done in that two hours. Now, what I am hoping to get done is the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and the hallway. Because I have already done the massive decluttering um, at the whole for like first part of this year, which you guys have seen, and if you haven't, I'll link it up above and in the description. But because I've done that hard work already, even though the rooms look wrecked right now, they're not nearly as bad as they could be. So I can get through them pretty quickly. The hallway is gonna be the challenging part just because I'm not really sure what happened here. I, um, I haven't been feeling well the last few days. And so probably like in most homes when you're not feeling well, when mom's not feeling well, the house kind of gets a little super crazy because yeah, it just does. So the hallway might be a bit difficult for me to do, but I think certainly I can get the living room, the kitchen and the dining room straightened up. Um, earlier today and yesterday, I dropped off a bunch of recycling, a bunch of donation stuff. So that is out of the way and out of the house. I'm feeling really good about that. Yay. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna set my two hour timer and whatever I get done, I get done. Let's get going. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes okay so let me address the table and this box over here um in the bed frame so the bed frame is going to my mom. I can't really put it in the garage because it's solid wood, but it'll be leaving the house in a couple of weeks. So for right now, like the bed rails are against the wall over here. The, um, this box is the barn door for our laundry room. I have no other place to put it right now. So that box is going to be here. And then I have a lady coming by tomorrow to pick up these dishes. Um, her daughter is going to college in the fall, needs some dishes for a start. So that's what a lot of these are. And so, yeah, these are not actually getting cleared tonight, but they all have a home and hopefully in a couple of weeks, 
maybe even this week, I don't know, this barn door, barn door will get installed and be out of my dining room and I will be ever so thankful. All right, let's move on to the living room now. So I really have to apologize. I'm not sure what happened to the lighting in these next few clips, but I, I don't know. I mean, I know I'm pale, but I'm not that pale. Anyway, uh, all I'm doing right here is I had some plants that decided to drop a bunch of leaves. And so I'm sweeping all of that up and then I'm going to get the exercise bike moved from the middle of the living room. That was my mother's day present and I absolutely love it. It's what I wanted. And, but this is where we put it together. And of course we don't really need it in the middle of the living room. So until we find the actual spot that it's going to go in, it's going to just get moved from the middle of the living room to the side of the living room. And I will figure out a way to use it happily over on the side of the living room. On this particular night, uh, I was freezing. And so you'll see me pretty much in my sweater for a lot of this video. Oh, there's my little shadow. Actually, she's been in the video most of the time, but she was getting a little ticked because I wouldn't go to bed and she was tired. And uh, evidently I was keeping her from her beauty sleep. So yeah, I had to reassure her that we would go to bed eventually. She just was not having any of it though. If you're wondering what those toys are over on the windowsill, my kiddo loves to play with the toys while he's at the breakfast bar. And it's a good it's a good way for he and I to interact while I'm working in the kitchen because he can sit there, we can talk while he plays with his Play-Doh or Legos or magnetic blocks or whatever. So we just kind of keep a fine assortment of toys there at the end of the counter. I know it may not work for everybody, but it at least works for our family. And then look how gorgeous this living room looks now. It looks even better now that we've had the uh, sweeping and the mopping and the robot vacuum and everything is run. But for the moment, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So here I am just getting all of the recycling together. For some reason it had piled up at the front door and just really needed to get out. We had recycling coming by the next day. So I wanted to make sure that any cardboard boxes definitely made it down to the curb so that we didn't just have them sitting around and it worked out beautifully. I got really excited because we happened to find this little spring and this is important because it goes to my son's favorite flashlight in the world, which I cannot find a duplicate of. So I was able to fix the flashlight and now it works. And oh my gosh, he is ever so happy because he, he says that these are the best flashlights in the world. And I believe him, it is very bright, but I was happy to fix it. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around. Come 
countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in. So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Okay, we are making, I think, really good time. I have not checked the time, so let's kind of do a quick time check right now. And to my timer. My timer just right now says I have one hour and one minute left, which means I've literally done the dining room, the hallway, and the living room in 59 minutes. Yay, it leaves me an hour to do the kitchen, which I don't think it'll take that long. So let's talk about some of the things that I haven't done. You haven't seen me sweep, I'm, I'm sorry, you saw me sweep, but you haven't seen me mop or you haven't seen me vacuum. The reason being, all of our living spaces are on the main floor. And so I think if I run the vacuum or even the robot vacuum, it's just gonna be really loud. I haven't tried running it when everybody's sleeping, so I'm gonna run that first thing in the morning. Um, but I have been sweeping as I've, I've been going to get up the mounds of dog hair and dust and where my plants have shed over the last few days and things like that. So I do feel really good about where I am at this moment. I just need to push through. I'm getting kind of tired. Definitely need a shower. Um, <laughs> I need to push through and get the kitchen done and then I will feel really good about waking up in the morning and seeing the kitchen put together and not having just piles of clutter everywhere. As I told you guys, because I had done the hard work over the last few months, even though the clutter is here, it wasn't nearly as bad. If you guys remember from my first video, things were piled. We're not there today. Um, and, I'll, and I, it helps that I know a lot of this stuff is leaving. Like I know the dishes on the table are getting donated tomorrow to a, an upcoming college student. I know the bed is, is leaving shortly to go to my mom's. I know that the barn door is going to be installed on the laundry room. And you know what? That takes up a bunch of stuff. And then you saw me move a really big box by the front door. Amazon sent us two exercise bikes um, because the first one they sent us was missing a part. So when I got in touch with them, they just sent us a new bike and said, just take out what you need and return the rest of it. So I am actually waiting. I know it's a weird thing. I'm waiting on a pickup, um, a driver to come pick this up for Amazon. So it has to stay in the house obviously until my pickup day, but at least I know it's going away very soon. And so I'm really thrilled about that. All right, let's head to the kitchen. We got this guys, we got this. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever.
definitely got a lot done. Um, I was pretty impressed that in less than two hours I was able to tackle the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, which I'm still working on at this moment in this clip, and the hallway. Um, everything looked great. When I woke up the next morning I was happy to walk out to see clean counters that had been wiped down, floors that had been swept, trash that had been taken out, you know, all the usual stuff. And keep in mind my husband did you know, when I was down, do things like take out the trash, and he did a lot of the cooking, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, it, it takes a family to run a house. I, a mom can't do it alone. And uh, it was nice that the boys, you know, pitched in and helped. But it was nice to get in here and do my own bit of cleaning and make sure everything got wiped down. When it was all said and done, this took about one hour and 42 minutes. I think when I stopped my timer that night, I had uh, 18 minutes left on it, so I was I was pretty impressed with everything I got done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I hope this motivated you that even if your house goes back to being a bit messy, as long as you've been keeping on top of it, it really will not take much to get it back together. If you enjoy this type of video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I try to put out videos weekly, but sometimes life happens. Have a great night, everyone, and I really do appreciate you all. Bye.